I would like to show you more features, for example, adding a 3D surface to an existing link. For this example, I'm going to use the elevation profile. Long click here on the 3D surface tool and click elevation profile. First, I need to select the link. I want to define a height from the start node of this link right at offset 0 here from the start point of the link and I want to specify another height value right at the end of the link so I can set an offset value of 0 to the end point so offset 0 to end point and the height at the end point should be 50 meters. And we can observe in this bottom section here how the height profile of the link looks like. Next I want to add a bump on link 0. There are multiple kinds of bumps available as we can see after a long click on the bumps tool um, I'm going to select the beam type here in order to define a beam I need to select the link first and with another click the bump is being placed on the link as always the parameters of the element can still be edited afterwards so the start offset should be exactly 50 meters and the lateral offset to the reference line uh, should be zero. There are also plenty of geometry related parameters for the bump. So for example the height um, which is 0 0.1 meters. Um, the width I am going to set to 7 meters so it stretches laterally across the whole road and I want to set the plateau length as well um, to 0 0.3 meters to make the bump more realistic we can add a texture to the bump we can browse for available texture files in the installation directory by clicking here on the folder symbol and under the folder textures and ground there is a file called Sleeping Policeman. I'm going to choose this one and watch my bump in the 3D preview. Since we have a bump, it would make sense to place a speed limit ahead of it. Carmaker speed limits are classified as road markers. The road markers can be found under the traffic tab. Long clicking reveals all available road marker types. For the speed limit I'm going to use the driver speed marker. To add it I need to select the route and then click once where I want to place the speed limit. I can edit the offset and also the speed limit value. So I can see the speed limit marker has been added here. In order to lift the speed limit we can set another driver speed marker and this time we choose the speed limit to end. So the speed limit will only be valid within this range. At the junction I'm going to add a traffic light that can be found under accessories and place it directly at the junction. I can add a controller to it and set the initial phase to red with a red phase duration of 28 seconds. Further beautifications can be done by adding road markings. 
So obviously at the junction there are missing several road markings. The function road markings here under accessories has a function road marking line that I'm going to select. I can choose the start and end node here and this will draw a line. The line type here is single line. I'm going to repeat this just for the other junction arms as well. The parking area here needs some road markings as well. But first I want to change the lane type of the parking area. In order to do so I select the lane and change its type to parking area. We could draw each line of the parking lot separately by choosing point lists, double click, but as we can see it's very difficult to draw exactly parallel lines with these point lists, but luckily there is a better way to do this. We will use point lists again but this time we will draw a line from here to here change the line type to broken line and the parameters are set as such we only need to adjust the lateral offset And this looks much better now. For further beautification of the scenery a tree strip can be added. The tree strip can be found under the scenery panel. When I click on it I have to first select the link at which I want to add the tree strip. Then define a start position and an end position. And we can see the tree strip has been added. There are four parameters of the tree strip like tree spacing, strip width, scaling tree width and height. I place another tree strip at the opposite side of the road. Furthermore, there is an option to generate a terrain. The only two parameters for the terrain generation are the minimum height offset and the maximum height offset. Once we click on generate, the terrain will automatically be generated and we can see the result in the 3D preview again. So at the end I want to quickly run a simulation with the scenario we just built. I want to utilize the IPG company car. As a maneuver I am going to define a simple maneuver again. In the scenario settings I make sure that the desired route is active. And now I can start the simulation from the IPG movie window. So the company's car starts its route, drives slowly over the bump considering the speed limit of 30 km per hour. Now we can see um, the eager vehicle considers the red light and it waits 25 seconds at the red traffic light. Afterwards it makes a right turn and drives with a speed limit of 100 km per hour to the end of the road. <laughs> 